Hi guys, welcome to, uh, well I've renamed the channel EC Topic because I'm doing such things as this. So I thought I'd expand on just the shoe side of things um, and also go a bit more into fashion and clothing etc. So um, today you will see a box in front of the, the camera which is a Trapstar box. Trapstar, if you don't know what Trapstar is, it's a London based clothing company. Um, they're quite well known, I'd say, in England. Uh, they're quite well known elsewhere as well. Um, you may know them from, there's quite an iconic picture of Jay Z wearing uh, one of the coats, the reflective coats of Trapstar as well. But um, if you don't know them, they're a really good brand. Um, I'm, I'm a big fan of them because at first I didn't really know who they were. Like, I know the logo, etc. But um, I never really knew who who they were, such as all people wearing them, etc. Um, but I did, you know, I just thought to myself, okay, it's probably a very upmarket brand, and it is. I'd say it's it's good fashion, good style, but at a reasonable price as well. So the shirt I'm going to show you today cost me seventy quid, which is quite a lot of money still, but in terms of good quality. That's, you know, I'd rather pay 70 quid for a Trapstar clothing rather than 400 quid for Gucci, if that makes sense. Um, so let's just get right into it. So the t-shirt inside this box is actually um, the summer 2020 football jersey shirt, which is black and gradient. If you don't know what gradient is, just a quick summary of gradients. Gradient is a colour pretty much known as turquoise, pretty much. So similar to the... Air Max uh, 720 Sea Forest, that sort of colour. Um, so if we open this up, there's a hat in there, which I forgot to take out. Well, I didn't forget to take out, I just left it in there. Nice hat as well, by the way. Um, again, got that sort of that colour into it. So, of course, Trapstar do have online um, website. I'll put a description to their website. Um, below and also they do have stores. I'm pretty sure they have a store in Birmingham and London. Um, I was trying to remember whereabouts the London one is here. I can't remember, but I'll put everything about Trapstar in the description below. So I'm just going to open this just so you can have a quick look at it. Packaging wise, yeah, it's quite a lot of. Oh, actually. Only two, two, two sheets of that sort of transparent paper. So, let's just remove the box for a second. Try and put that in the frame of the camera. So, there you go. So, the badge, I've, I've never had one of these before because they go out, they, the, the, in all fairness, this shirt now is out of stock um, in all sizes. Um, it's really nice. Um, so I haven't actually took out the package, so of course it surprised me how nice it's. But this badge, the logo is, it feels like yeah that they're they're printed on, um, which doesn't bother me. Um, honestly, um, you know sometimes with badges and on football jerseys, you get um the what you call it, the so the sewed sort of badges if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, no, that's it's, it's all right. Um. It's all right, nice little skull logo there. It's Trapstar. Yeah, sim similar printing, but this printing film's a bit more fine on. It, to be honest, it, you know, this feels, it feels, I mean, of course it feels like an actual, like like what you buy from, for example, when Liverpool uh, announced their football kit. It feels like, you know, an actual football football shirt, not just the design of one. Um, the colour in here, so the gradient colour uh, is something why I bought a shirt. I'm obsessed with uh, colours like this, um, which fade into them. I think it's very quite peaceful. But on the black, I think it works really well, it does. Um, but yeah, that's so far, uh, the material looks pretty good. It's, it feels, it's got that, I'm pretty sure that's polyester, if I'm correct. Polyester, probably with a bit of cotton. Uh, if we can check. No, it's all 100% polyester. Um, which is very nice. So just gonna flip it over. So of course they're just printed on, printed on Trapstar, printed on badge, um, which is all right. I, I can live with that. I mean, there's a, you know print, printed on. Uh, the only issue with printing on sometimes after washing it so many times it can peel off or or get um, 
you know, s stick together a little bit and you, you might have to separate the pin off, but uh, you just probably have to wash it on a, a cold 40 degrees um, with other sort of similar shirts, I'd say, um, just to prevent that. Um, and then on the back, you guys probably can't see it. It's on the camera, so let's get in a shot. Trap star, same. So it's got the football feel of a name on the top of the back and a number, so 20 for the collection, um, summer 20 collection. Trap star, again, all in print. Um, I like the, the font of Trap star, so they've gone with the, the you know, the, the font of the Trap star logo on the number. Um, but yeah, again, the gradient and everything on the side is the really most appealing part to me. So this shirt is a small. Um, we'll, so it's a small size because I'm a small, small man. Um, most of my clothing is always in small, but sometimes with football shirts they can, for example, Nike, for example, I have, I have a Holland one which fits fine as a small, but it does drop a little bit down. At the bottom if that makes sense so we'll see how this one fits um but most of the time most of my foot foot shirts do fit good uh adidas seem to fit the best even though i'm not a big fan of adidas but when there's like international shirts etc they always fit the best so what i'm gonna do now uh first thoughts is yeah it looks nice good coloring um i realize i want to wear these with my mx 720c forests um because of course, the colour goes with them um, quite a lot. So what I'm going to do now, just so you can see it all in its glory, um, I'm going to hang it up, show you back and front what's hanged up, um, and then I'm going to wear it myself, and I'm basically going to tell you how it feels wear-wise. Because even though something might look nice, um, you, you need to know what, what it's going to look like on someone. You know, you might always think, well, that looks nice, but what about on me? Um, and also, of course, me being a small, this is for, you know, small, I'll tell you how it fits on me as a small, by the way, I'm, I'm average, small, not built, if that makes sense, like, I'm your typical small size person. Um, so I'll, I'll, t I'll tell you about everything, how it looks on a person, explain everything about the feel, so let's get straight into it. So yeah, getting into what the shirt felt like when actually wearing it. Uh, it actually felt very nice. The, it felt uh, very breathable. It felt like a proper football shirt, like I mentioned. Um, as, as you probably saw um, as well, I probably didn't mention it, but there was little holes in the shirt which makes it breathable like what you'd get with a normal football shirt. So, so it did feel nice wearing the shirt, did. Uh, very breathable, didn't sweat at all in it, um, which is pretty nice, especially for them hot summer days or, or if you do want to use it as like a football shirt, or, or just in general, but you can always guarantee with a shirt um, when I've wore, wore with it that um, it's very breathable. Um, the arms uh, is what I want to talk about next. So, of course, you see arms there, there's a little bit of um, air space, as I like to call it. That's just because it's down to my size um, or, or my build. Um, I am a small man um, in, in size of a small shirt, but don't be put off by that. That's just what I look like wearing it. If you are bigger built, you probably will cover more of that but at the same time the design of the shirt is to be um a little bit oversized if it makes sense and it isn't said to be oversized but if you have a look uh, at the model who's wearing it on trap stars website as well it does seem to point out a little bit on his as well um but at the same time the 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 it didn't bother me sometimes a bit of baggage um you know is one of the things i worry about the most on, on my clothes i don't like to have uh let's say Air, air up my arms uh like you know like feels like a parachute but this didn't feel like that just because of the design of the the shirt so if you think about it most shirts do come up to your bicep area this shirt comes all the way down to um your elbows technically and it it makes it look more smoother and and when wearing it as well uh you can you can really like feel it sort of glide across your arm um if that makes sense so it, it is quite a nice fit um, I pr probably prefer that sort of fit compared to a normal football shirt or so. Um, but yeah, re re really, really nice there. Um, talking about the bottom of the shirt, so you, you see where I've just grabbed it there. Um, that does droop a little bit over, um, over where I'd say your waistline is. Uh, but 
yeah it, it, it's not it's, it's not massive but again as you see the design of the shirt it does have that sort of uh feature where it is meant to um of course hang a little bit uh as it dips it makes a sort of like sort of a u shape if it makes sense um but uh, yeah it's no bother it's not like it's it's drowning me um it's just a little bit below the the waistline um so yeah there you go see there you see um that it goes so on the sides it's on the waist um but when it goes forward and back it, it droops a little bit but that's all right it's it's not drowning me and i'm absolutely fine with it and yeah and also wearing the shirt as well the the markings you know the the iron ons um you know the the badge and the logos um the print i'd say uh it's very light uh most you you do sort of see it sometimes when you get like a football shirt with a name on the back you you can always feel it uh on your back and you, you do feel like oh, i can feel a little bit of extra weight on my shirt uh with this one uh, it's absolutely fine um you, of course you still feel it um but it does feel like um uh, which makes it you know nice you, you know you're, you're not always thinking about you've got something on the back of your shirt um but yeah apart from that it's, it's a very nice shirt and wearing it as well i uh, took a few pictures in it wore it a few times now and I'm, i really enjoyed it um but yeah you know it's, it's a shirt we'll see it's simple to mix with you can mix it with black you can mix it with um other colors like, like i mentioned about my sea forests so i wore them below um i just need to try and get next time some proper bottoms traps are bottoms there is a nice pair i saw but uh they're sold out but i need to get some proper pair next time so my final verdict on uh the trap star football jersey so um basically it's a very good shirt i'm a big fan of it massively uh one some things i'd say which were the main highlights for me were the feel of the shirt uh wasn't too heavy when wearing it the collar which i've got to mention some go the collar had an absolute great feel to it um it was more of a circular collar um and it didn't feel too much collar or chest like how some shirts with a v-neck look etc which i think made it actually look better how how the collar was designed um you know uh the color colorway i don't know if i've already mentioned that but the colorway was a big plus for me it was because of course i would I had a vision of matching them with my 20 um 720s i did and yeah it, overall shirt shirt itself is a great shirt i like the football concept to it as well uh and you know it's it's something where you can sort of you know a lot of people like to wear football shirts as look like, like lazy wear i guess as well but also you, you know that most shirts do have that sense of cool looking um and and we we you know in in the uk we've got that sort of thing if you wear a football shirt you sort of you know people can slander you a little bit for wearing that shirt but having a shirt which is similar to a football shirt which has a good feel like one as well and it is fashion based it's a good style um it's it's a really nice concept it's a really nice thing to have uh and and it just looks good as well um so paying 70 pound for this shirt was you know no doubt about it for me there is another one uh, at the moment on on their website on chapstar which is the rose shirt um which is a similar price still in stock as as i speak of, of this video it may have gone out of stock by the release of it um but yeah, 70 quid for the shirt. If you are looking to get a shirt, it is out of stock, so but they do do re they do do redrops, etc. So keep an eye on their website as well. I'll put the link in the description below for Trapster. And also they may have some in store, who knows? Um in the future. So of course I'll put the 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 locations of the shops, which is in London and Birmingham. Um but yeah, no, like if you are going to get a shirt, I'd say be careful of the payment wise. I'd say 70 to 120 would be my realistic resale buy of this shirt, just because it is a good shirt. Um, if you do really want it, of course, it's up to you if you want to pay more of that. But I'd say just, you know, you don't want to be paying an excessive amount uh, for, for a t shirt um, where you think realistically that that's the price that you can get it for. But yeah, the, 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 talk about cons about the shirt. There wasn't too much. I think the only thing I could really say was maybe the 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 bottom of the shirt dipped a little bit on the front and back, but not on sides. But the, that's just how the style is, and um, it didn't bother me as much. But I know it can bother some people. Uh, the printing as well, absolutely fine on the back. 
um, didn't cause no issues. So yeah, the shirt itself is a 10 out of 10 for me. Um, hence why I bought it in the first place, hoping it would be um, more than just the look of a shirt. It would just be good to wear as well. It was breathable as well. So yeah, no, definitely a shirt to buy. Uh, if you haven't, if you don't know about Trapstar itself as well, check them out. Like I said, the link is in the description, so you can check them out. They do a lot of good colorways, and that's why I'm a big fan of Trapstar at the moment. They just do a lot of colorways, and, and, and they just they just look good. For example, if you are someone who wants fashion look of something, or, or wants to make sure you look good wearing what what the, what I had the the t shirt, the football jersey. Um, the one thing I would say, even though you saw me wearing it with night track bottoms, um, night track suit bottoms, night fleece actually, um, I would say yeah that it looked all right just because it had the seven twenties on. But um, I'd actually say don't try and wear it like I did, just because in my opinion I feel like I could if I had the track suit bottoms from Trap Star, which were the same colorway. Um, it would actually look much much better. So of course if you are someone who is who, who wants to make sure you get all the color coordination right uh, Please take that in mind that you, like if you, I don't think realistically it can work with something just playing at the bottom um, But realistically, I think you have to match it with another trap star um, Bottoms or accessory, but yeah apart, apart from that if you are just someone who just wants to wear it just for you know Just for the look of it do your thing um Quick mentions to a few people. Axel Beats provided me with beats today over the video. So please check out his channel because um, he has a lot of free beats. So if you want to use them for your videos or all your music, so you can buy them as well. Uh, shout out to my friend Manuel who's just started a YouTube channel uh, where he does video games. So please check him out and his link will be in the description below and tell him I sent you. Until next time, see you guys later. Bye.